on uh, this week's episode of uh, Wasting Time with Sir Isla, we are going to discuss etymology. What is etymology? According to my uh, Google search, it means uh, the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed all throughout history. And uh, the origin of a word in a historical development of its meaning. And as you can see, Mio is having a ha hard time remembering uh, the uh, definition of a certain word that uh, she knows what the word is, but she cannot remember its meaning. So she started uh, googling for the word itself. However, when uh, she opened the uh, Google tab, she stopped short and asked herself, where did the word Google come from? I mean, we just started using the word and uh, we do not even know where it came from, right? And uh, when did it uh, enter our English dictionary? And uh, just like Mio, I know you are also aching to know the answer. Prepare Mio. Here are the six etymological processes that you should know. Number one is borrowing. Now, borrowing is the process of taking, or sometimes steal, a word from the other languages. English has borrowed a hundred, maybe a thousand of words from other languages. Examples of this are from the Arabic, we borrowed words like alcohol, almana, borax, candy, gazelle, giraffe, hazard, jar, lilac, lemon, lime, magazine, mocha, monsoon, mummy, orange, sash, soda, sofa, sugar, tahini, and zero. From the Chinese, we have these following words. Chao, Feng Shui, Ginseng, Gong Ho, Ketchup, Kumquat, Lo Mein, Silk, Tai Chi, Tea, and walk. And uh, aside from uh, those two, we also borrowed words from uh, French, German, Greek, Hindi, Japanese, Latin, Native American languages, Old Norse, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and Turkish. Number two is compounding. Now, what is compounding? Compounding is the joining of two separate words to become one. Many words are combined or compounded together in English. Examples of those are the smiling on the outside. Examples of uh, compounding are the following. The first one is uh, the combination of book and case. We have book case dog and house, we have a dog house, finger plus print, as you can see, sun plus burn, also, it's in here, text and book, wall and paper, water and bed. And uh, if you notice, if you, do, if you combine two different words, it will result to a word that has a completely different meaning from the first to that we combined. Whoa, you're still here. Now we have blending. Blending is a specific type of uh, compounding that takes place when parts of two separate words come together to form a new word. The first part of one word compounds with the last part of another word and it forms a new word. Examples of which are binary plus digit will result to bit, breakfast plus lunch, brunch, channel plus tunnel, channel, motor plus hotel will result to motel, smoke plus fog is equal to smog, and Spanish 
plus English will result to Spanglish. Television and broadcast will result to telecast. Yes, another example is Taglish. Clipping. Clipping is the process of when a word of more than one syllable is reduced to a shorter form. This is one of the more popular new word formation processes today. Young people, especially, often clip long words into shorter words. Examples of uh, this are Examples of uh, clipping are Add from the word advertisement Adorbs from the word adorable Bra from the word brochure Condo from the word condominium Fan from fanatic Flu from influenza, fridge from refrigerator, and phone from telephone. So remember, in order for us to clip a word, it has to have two or more syllables. You cannot clip a word with just one syllable. Try clipping dog when you're both a metalhead and a weeb at the same time. Ooh. Next, we have conversion. Conversion is when the function of a word is changed. This process is when the part of a speech changes. Many nouns have converted to be used as verb. So in this one, if the word is originally a noun, it can become a verb if used in the right context. Example. If uh, you are converting uh, a noun to a verb, we have uh, the word bottle, butter, chair, and vacation. And from verb to noun, we have cheat, doubt, handout, and hire. <sighs> Number five, coinage. Coinage is a term used to describe the invention of a completely new term. Though this is not extremely common in everyday English use, it is often necessary when creating business names. Examples of which are the following. One type of coinage is the development of words through acronyms. Some acronyms are referred to by their initials like CIA, USA, NBA, and your favorite FBI. But other acronyms make the transition into being referred to by a single word, an example of which is uh, scuba. We also have radar, laser, and pin. Yes, scuba is a shortened word word. Derivation. Derivation is the most common process of word production. Derivation is accomplished when affixes, suffixes, and prefixes are added to words. For example, we have uh, the affix miss plus the word lead, and uh, we have uh, misled. The affix this plus the word respect and uh, the affix full, we have disrespectful. In this instance, the word or the affix this is called the prefix, and uh, the affix full is called the suffix. Third one is uh, the word kind plus uh, the affix ness, kindness, care, plus the affix less, careless, and uh, the word unruly. We have uh, the affix un, the word rule, and the uh, suffix e. And wait, did I say six? I mean seven. And when we say multiple processes, let us go back to what I said earlier about Mio finding it uh, difficult to know where the word Google comes from. 
let's go back to the history of the word. The word Google came from uh, the word Google, which is actually a number. And from what I could remember, Google is, uh, it means 100 zeros. From there, the company got the word and uh, changed it to Google. And uh, when uh, it came to be, a lot of people are now using the word Google from uh, the noun to verb. For example, is, I am go I'm going to Google the word that I heard earlier. So from uh, one verb, it became a noun and it became a verb. That's why we have the multiple processes. 